Hello. In this video, we are going to look at the built-in functions that XBRL Analyst provides for pulling data into Excel. These functions make it possible to build detailed and interactive templates that stay up to date. We provide an introductory template that gives a quick overview of the functionality of some of the built-in functions. To load this template, just click the Financial Templates button and select the first template, Introduction to XBRL Analyst. This will download from our website the template and open it in Excel. There are six sections here. The first three focus on the fin value function for pulling data from reports, and the last three feature share price, XBRL stats, and fin estimates respectively. Fin value takes six parameters, company, financial value, two parameters for specifying fiscal period, a parameter for XBRL dimensions, and a scaling parameter. The first example shows how to get Walmart's revenue for their 2013 fiscal year in millions of dollars. Most of XBRL Analyst's functions will add a comment to the result cell, giving more information about the data. We can also use the Trace to Report feature to open the document viewer and show the value in its original context. There are many examples of fin value here. It can compute ratios, infer fourth quarter values even if the company didn't report them, calculate last 12 months values, and use calendar periods instead of fiscal periods. It will also look up facts by XBRL tag, pull dimensional information, and process formulas using financial definitions, which is useful when creating your own custom definitions. The share price function pulls stock market data. It can pull opening price, high, low, closing, adjusted closing, and average price, as well as cumulative and average volume. The XBRL stats function gives statistics over industries or indexes. For instance, here we see that 88 S&P 100 companies use the XBRL tag net income loss, with the average value of about $7 billion. We also can see the median and standard deviation. The last function here is FinEstimate, which pulls in analyst estimates. It pulls the average of a number of estimates and also shows the number of estimates and some information about how they deviate. There are a number of other functions made available by XBRL Analyst that you can see in detail by selecting Function Help under the Help menu. Like I mentioned, these functions are great for building live, interactive templates. Let's look at a template that we've built to pull inventory data by calendar period. The only static data in this template is the list of companies, the list of calendar periods, the financial fact, and the scale. From these things, we build brief company profiles, ticker, name, and industry, and this table of work and process inventory amounts over the past few calendar quarters. One thing worth noting is that not all of these companies use the same XBRL tag for this value. Some use inventory work and process, while others use inventory work and process net of reserves. XBRL Analyst will take care of these differences for us when we use this normalized concept here, work and process and let us easily compare values across companies. What makes this template interactive is that if we, for instance, want to look at a different financial fact, all we have to do is replace work and process with something else. So we'll open up the list of normalizations and take, say, changes of inventory and drag it into the cell where we currently have work and process. This will cause XBRL analysts to pull all new data into this same table of sorted calendar periods. This was built mostly with just the fin value function that we saw earlier. For more information about XBRL Analyst or to download a free trial, please visit us at findynamics.com. Thanks for watching.